Okay, so you're trying to get toes to bar. A really important piece of the puzzle is having the ability to lift the weight of your legs. And a lot of that comes down to core strength and hip flexor strength and the ability to compress. Compression where you pull your lower body up into your upper body is going to allow you to get your toes to the bar and be strong when you translate that up onto the pull-up bar. So a really, really good scaling option rather than automatically defaulting to like, hey, we're gonna do hanging knee raises today again for your toes to bar if you don't have them. Something that you can utilize is doing leg raises, a pike leg lift. So a beginner option would be to be leaning back, raising your feet off the ground and lowering down. When we make that more challenging, we just bring our hands further forward, lift the feet and lower down. And I'm really trying to contract and pull everything in to compress, to generate that motion, that movement that we want to see up on the toes bar. The more difficult that we want it to be, the better it's gonna be when we do our toaster bar. And it needs to be in that controlled manner. So it's not up and relax and flop. It needs to be pull in, control. Pull in, control. Pull in, control. Replace the toaster bar for people that can't do toaster bar with leg lifts in order to help them develop that core strength and the ability to literally control the weight of their legs as they compress it up towards their upper body in order to help them get toaster bar.